Howdy friends, twins, teenagers, and young adults, and kids, my favorite, the kids. I want to tell you the most important thing you must know and you must do before you join any services. I'm talking about the enlisted ranks, probably not for officers. It's called a guaranteed job. You must get a guaranteed job before you join any military services, Army, Navy, Air Force, or Marines. Now, I've heard that the Marines don't have this, but the Army and the Navy and the Air Force definitely do. As a matter of fact, if you go to your Air Force recruiter, you can even ask them for Aircraft Mechanic, Crew Chief, 43131. So, you must get a guaranteed job, because what happens if you don't get a guaranteed job? Well, let me tell you a story. A long time ago, I went in the Air Force in the 80s. That's how old I am. In the 1980s, I joined the Air Force. And in boot camp, I met a guy who was complaining. He said, I have a degree in architecture. And you know what they made me? I said, no, what did they make you? Said, they made me a cook. And I told him, did, did you get a guaranteed job? He said, no, what's that? He had a bad recruiter. So, kids... When you go to your recruiter, you tell them, I want a guaranteed job. And if the recru recruiter says, oh, we can't get you one, then you walk out. And that's that. You don't have to join. And you do not join unless you get that guaranteed job. Because you know what you get to do if you don't get a guaranteed job. You get to be a cook. Why? Because they always need cooks. Nobody wants to be a cook. So... They have a shortage of cooks all the time. So what happens if you don't get a guaranteed job? You get to be the cook. And you don't want to be the cook, do you? So let me tell you what else is going to happen. It's a two-phase process. You go to the recruiter and you sign some papers. And then you go to the Military Enlistment Processing Station, MEPS. I think it's in San Diego in California. But the point is, you go there, and then you're going to sit down with a guy behind the computer. And then he's going to look at all your stuff that you got at the recruiting station in your hometown. And then he's going to say, congratulations, we've got your guaranteed job in six months or whatever months. Then you're okay. But if he says, oh, well, we can't get you a guaranteed job, then you get up and you walk out. You're not in the Air Force or any services yet, my friend, even when you're at the second phase at the MEPS. You're not in until you raise that hand there, there and you take the oath. But before you do that, you've done a physical at the MEPS station and you've talked to the guy behind the computer. And it doesn't matter what you signed at the recruiter's station in your hometown. I don't care what you signed there. You don't get that guaranteed job at MEPS. Then you stand up and you walk out. Doesn't matter what you signed. You're not even in the forces yet. Not until you raise that hand and take that oath. So, remember that, kids, and anybody thinking of joining the forces. If you get there at the MEPS and they can't get you a guaranteed job, you're not in. You just walk out. Doesn't matter what you signed. You just leave. Because you don't want to be a cook, do you? No. All right, my friends. So, that's the most important thing that anybody needs to know to join any service. If you like this video, please share it. Because it's really important. I don't want any of you joining the services getting stuck as a cook, okay? All right, my friends. Please share the video. And I look forward to seeing you at the top.